And to some sports news, Nigeria's senior men's basketball team, the Tigers, have won the peak invitational tournament in China. The Tigers beat 25th ranked Montenegro 89 86 to win the tournament. This follows an 87 84 point win over Poland. With the final phase of preparations for the FIBA Basketball World Cup now concluded, coach Alex Mora and his team will now look forward to their opener against Russia on the 31st of August. Upper Elephants Aimba are through to the first round of the CAF Champions League. Aimba thrashed Rahimo FC of Burkina Faso 5-0 at the Aimba International Stadium in Abba to go through 5-1 on aggregate. Nigeria's other flag bearer, Kano Pillars, have been eliminated from the competition. Pillars lost 2-0 to Asante Kotoko of Ghana and crashed out 4-3 on aggregate despite winning the first leg 3-2 in Kano. Reigning champions Manchester City moved up to second in the English Premier League with a convincing 3-1 victory over Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium. A brace from Argentina forward Sergio Aguero and a goal from England winger Raheem Sterling gave Manchester City victory in what was seen by many as a one-sided game. Elsewhere, Newcastle United secured a priceless 1-0 away victory over Tottenham after new boy Jellington scored in the 27th minute. Well, Wolverhampton Wanderers and Burnley had to settle for a 1-1 draw at Molyneux Stadium. The organising committee for the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games has held a one-year-to-go event to mark the countdown to the start of the Games. The event brought together Tokyo 2020 organisers, government officials, Paralympic athletes, including medalists from the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. Tokyo will become the first city to hold the Paralympics for the second time. Suzuki's Alan Rins well passed the MotoGP world champion Mark Marquez at the final corner to win a thrilling British Grand Prix. After trying a move around the outside of Woodcott Corner on the penultimate lap, Reigns then lunged through on the inside to edge fellow Spaniard Marquez to check and flag by 0.013 seconds. It was Suzuki's second win in three attempts following Maverick uh, Van Lys victory at the Silverstone three years ago. On the foreign scene, it's been another day of protests turned violent in the city of Hong Kong where police fired gunshots the first time they have done so since protests broke out. Images show several officers also pointing guns at the protesters who were chasing them with sticks and poles. And another police deployed water cannon against the protesters. Police say that the gunshots were fired to warn the protesters and that several officers were taken to hospital as a result of the clashes. However, before the scuffle began, black clad protesters had thrown projectiles at police, including bricks and petrol bombs. The Israeli military has confirmed it struck Iranian military sites in Syria to prevent what it said was a pending drone strike by Iran. According to a Syrian military source, Syrian anti-aircraft defenses detected enemy targets from Golan heading towards the area around Damascus. Israel is believed to have carried out hundreds of strikes in Syria since the civil war began in 2011 to try to prevent Iran gaining a foothold. There are other reports that state that two Israeli surveillance drones had come down in a stronghold of the Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in the Lebanese capital, Beirut. Seven people have been killed after a helicopter and an ultralight plane collided mid-air in Mallorca, Spain. Two of the victims were under the age of 18. Five of them victims, including two minors, were on board the helicopter, while the two others were traveling in the ultralight, a type of small aircraft with a maximum of two seats. Regional President Francina Armengol said 
Emergency teams were working at the scene and one of the regional government's ministers had been dispatched. Photos made available from local fire service showed wreckage from the aircraft in the town. The tail section of the landed on a road while another photo showed twisted and blackened metal on fire in a garden. And the main news again. Police today arrested another member of the kidnap syndicate headed by Hamisu Bala, also known as Wadume in Taraba State. Plus joint security operatives have intercepted six mine resistance military vehicles in the border town of Adamoa State. And we also told you how the Hong Kong peaceful demonstration today turned violent as police fired a live round and used water cannon on protesters. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Have a great week ahead.